अगर आप प्रैक्टिस करते हो तो आप एक महीने में भी अच्छा टेक्निकली साउंड कर सकते इसके लिए चाहिए आपको ग्रेट गाइडेंस यहाँ पे हम स्टूडेंट्स के प्रैक्टिस पे बहुत ही ध्यान देते हैं वीडियो को आप लास्ट तक देखते रहिए गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ आई सेल्फ सोम मानखेड़े आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय ग्रेजुएशन इन बैचलर इन कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम एम एम सी सी विद एग्रीगेट सी जी पी एफ एट फोर जीरो आई वॉज हैविंग इंटरेस्ट इन जाओ सो आई जॉइन सी जी सी टू गेट मोर नॉलेज अबाउट जाओ ओके शॉल वी स्टार्ट आर मॉक इंटरव्यू यस वॉट इज जावा Java is a highly object oriented platform independent language with the help of java we can create uh, mobile and web application java follows run uh, write once run anywhere uh, means wherever the uh, jvm is present we can run our java program okay tell me the features of java uh, java is platform independent means it can be done on any uh, platform uh, it is open source it is easily available uh, the internal and external libraries are uh, big, bigger okay What is class and object? Uh, class is a uh, class is a logical entity. Means it is a uh, blueprint or template. Uh, in uh, in class we can write method, constructors, and variables. Uh, object is a phys uh, physical entity. With the help of object we can call class. Whenever the object is called, uh, memory is allocated. Can you uh, tell me the difference in between? Uh, class, class and object. object yes. Uh, class is a physical uh, class is a logical entity and object is a physical in, uh, physical entity whenever the class is created no memory is allocated to that variable and method but whenever object is uh, created the memory is allocated to that particular variable and method okay tell me the syntax of class class and object both uh, uh, class public class and uh, class name and whatever the our block of code object uh, our uh, ref uh, Class name reference variable is equals to new keyword and our class name with parentheses. Okay, what is variables? Uh, variable is a container in which we can store our uh, data. Okay, types of variables. Uh, there are two types of variable, local and global. Okay, uh, tell me the difference in between. Uh, local variable is valid for that particular method and uh, global is va uh, valid to overall class. Okay, what is constructor? Uh, constructor name is same name as class name. Uh, whenever the constructor is created, uh, uh, constructor name is same name as class name. Uh, there are three types of three types of constructor in class. Uh, default constructor, non-parameterized, and parameterized constructor. Uh, whenever the object is called, constructor gets called automatically. Okay, what is the main purpose of constructor? Uh, to initialize the instance variable of class. Okay, what is method? Uh, method is a block of code which is identified by its name. Uh, it divides the large code in small chunks okay can you tell me the syntax of method uh, method uh, access modifier then return type and uh, our method name parenthesis in parenthesis we can give parameter curly braces and block of okay how can we call in method uh, method we can call method by object okay by method name yes. by, by using uh, method by name by using method name. yes okay what is jvm JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. Okay, explain. Uh, with the help of uh, JVM, we can run our Java code easily in any machine. Difference between uh, JDK, JRE, and JVM? Uh, JDK stands for Java Development Kit, which is necessary to run our uh, all the JRE and JVM. Uh, it, uh, it it should be installed in our program uh, in our machine to run a program. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. With the help of JRE, we can uh, the environment is created for that particular Java class. Uh, JVM executes the program. Okay. Uh, what is OOPS? OOPS is OOPS stands for Object Oriented Programming System. It is uh, uh, derived from our day to day life. With the help of OOPS, uh, uh, learning and understanding is easy. Uh, tell me the pillars of OOPS. Uh, there are four pillars of OOPS: inheritance, abstraction, polymorphism, and uh, Encapsulation. encapsulation yes what is inheritance uh, inheritance is parent and child relation uh, inheritance is achieved by using extend keyword parent parent uh, class is uh, super class and child class is sub class what is super in this keyword uh, super keyword refers to the parent uh, parent class and this keyword refers to the current class okay can we write multiple this keyword in one constructor yes okay Does Java support multiple inheritance? No, Java Java does not support. Why? Because whenever the uh, multiple classes are extended, uh, 
JVM does not uh, knows to which uh, class is to be called first. Okay. Why we use setter and getter method in our JAT application? To protect our variable. Okay. What is polymorphism? Polymorphism means one name many form. With, uh, polymorphism can be achieved with method overloading and method overriding. Okay. What is compile time polymorphism? Compile time polymorphism is uh, method overloading. Okay. Uh, tell me the syntax for that. Uh, the uh, uh, method name must be same. Uh, parameter number wise or type wise must be different. Okay. What is uh, method overriding? Method overriding whenever the uh, child class is not satisfied with parent uh, parent class execution, the child class executes its own uh, method with same name. Okay. Tell me the difference in between method overloading and method overriding. Uh, method overloading is also known as compile time polymorphism. Uh, method overriding is known as runtime polymorphism. Uh, in uh, method overloading, uh, uh, name and uh, parameter name must be same. Parameter number wise or type wise must be different. In the method overriding, the uh, method name must be same. Uh, no uh, parameter is not compulsory. Okay. What is encapsulation? Encapsulation means wrapping up class and variables in one class is known as encapsulation. How can we achieve encapsulation? Uh, by uh, using uh, data hiding. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by access modifiers? Uh, access modifiers means we give uh, modifiers that access to a particular variable. Uh, there are four types of access modifiers, public, protected, private and default. Okay, explain that. Uh, public, uh, it can be accessed anywhere. Uh, private, it can be accessed within the class. Default can be accessed within the package. And uh, protected can be accessed within the uh, within a class. Outside the class, it must be subclass. Okay. And uh, default? Uh, default, it is uh, valid in class uh, package. Okay. What is exception handling? Uh, exception handling, uh, unwanted situation or abnormal condition which stops our normal flow of uh, flow of our code. Uh, in that case, we use exception handling. What is error? Uh, error is a uh, which completely stops our program, uh, such as syntax error. Okay. What is throws and throw keyword? Uh, throw keyword, uh, we give chance to the uh, caller method to handle the exception. Throws is a custom exception. With the help of throws, we can create our custom exception. Okay. Why we use try catch and finally? Uh, try catch, uh, the, in try we write the uh, risky code. In catch, we handle that, and finally, finally gets executed whether the uh, exception is occurred or not. Okay. What do you mean by final keyword? Final keyword means uh, whenever we declare a variable or a method final, the uh, that execution or their uh, their value can can't be changed. Okay. Uh, can you tell me the syntax of main method? Uh, public static void main. In parenthesis string ARGS. Okay, explain that. Uh, public is the access modifier. Mm. Static is uh, with the help of static. There is no need to create object for it. Uh, main is uh, used from previous language C and C++. So it is familiar with it. Uh, JVM does not need any return type from main method. So void is being used. And in string, by using string ARGS, we can get input from user. From okay. User. What is collection? Uh, collection is a, a group of objects, uh, we can manipulate it. Thank you.